My king, I... You brought my boy back. Thank you. Most uh, noble back. Everyone's getting hooks from the king. I'm just happy to have my family back together again. I will be ten times the sorceress she ever was. Nobody here fears you, evil Lin. You've been so beaten down by your boss that you can't see how you are his better now. I give you the celestial apex. He thinks you're his. But what do you think? Who can fathom the human heart? Let alone the heart of a sorceress. I've always been attracted to power. Mm. Yeah. Why bind myself to Grayskull when I can be my own champion? Oh no. I have the power. What up, what up, people dems? So, we are now about to watch episode three um, of uh, He-Man Revelations. Uh, which is called The Gutter Rats. So the last episode we just saw Evelyn chatting to some men and men on the wall who's the evilest of them all. So she's plotting something. I don't know what she's plotting but she's plotting something. So uh, yeah, let's jump into it and see what's going on. We shall be skipping the intro. Oh it's literally picking up where it left off. Nice. If this is some kind of ploy by Skeletor, I don't even care. <laughs> this isn't Skeletor's magic, Dad. My king, I... You brought my boy back. Aww. Thank you, Tila. Dad, I should have told you about He-Man. And I should have told you every day how proud I am of the man you've become. Everybody should learn yes, from their mistakes. They should. Everybody. Even kings. Especially kings. Skeletor almost killed me again. But Cringer here saved my life. Thank you. Most Aww. noble battle cat. Everyone's getting hooks from the king. Everyone's getting hooks from the king. And who do we have here? Hi, uh, your majesty. I'm Andras, sir. Sire. I'm a friend of Tila's and... Without Andra... Adam wouldn't be here right now. Is that so? I owe you a greater debt than I can ever pay. However, I am king, so I can pay a lot. Ask of me any reward, Andra, and it is yours. <laughs> After my grandfather died, I grew up in the streets, alone. I barely slept, but when I did, I'd dream about being part of a family again. If you're asking me what I want, I just want to stay with all of you. <clears throat> Look around, young lady. This is a military encampment. We're preparing for war here. A civilian can't stay. Uh. I understand. I'm afraid you don't. You can't stay without me making you a lieutenant in my royal guard. What? Are you serious? No, thank you, lieutenant for bringing my family here to Point Dread. Tila teleported us here with magic. Magic? Um. <laughs> There's so much to come to the process. <laughs> oh, here comes the queen. Oh. Adam? And you know I'm a mama's boy. I'm just happy to have my family back together again. What's going on? Has she not forgiven him? Basically. Oh. Hang in there. We'll get you help. Oh, you wanna help? He's a better man than me. You've gone soft, mm. man at arms. Here we go. Brittle without battle. Brittle without battle. <laughs> I have the power to inflict pain. Oh, wow. Or I can take the pain away. I've seen how true power is handled. Oh, your sweet sorceress. You can tell me, or as the new sorceress, I can simply rip open your mind and read your thoughts. 
she was the best person I ever knew. And the best sorceress. I will be ten times the sorceress she ever was. <laughs> no, you won't. To an impressive start. Yeah, exactly. Bullying the Orlex. Right after your boyfriend bullies you. <laughs> oh! Even the things down in the dungeons that hate your guts still feel sorry for you when they hear him tear you down and toss you around. Nobody here fears you, evil Lin. We all pity you. Well, you can keep your pity. I have power. And what have you done with that power? Or rather, what has Skeletor let you do with it? <laughs> point after point. I am drenched in more power than your silly sorceress has ever held in her limp little hands. And yet, you've been so beaten down by your boss that you can't see how you are his better now. So if you are indeed the new sorceress, that makes Skeletor nothing more than your servant. Crucial information there. Juicy! <laughs> I just wish I could have seen the look on your father's face when he saw it was you. Speaking of dad, do I sense a little tension between you two? When you lose a child, it's like losing the light. Brandor blamed me because I never told him I knew your secret. At first, I resented his blame until I resented him. And this is all my fault. My death killed your marriage. Oh, this isn't your fault, son. Sometimes people just fall apart. Aww. She's right, though. That boy called down the power without it. The solution to this riddle must lie somewhere out there in the vast reaches of the... Am I boring you, Lin? <laughs> Come here. Let me show you something. Apex will imbue me with not just power over the universe, but power over existence itself. <laughs> wow. It's all just so empty. There's no design, so there's no meaning. Life is nothing but an endless, agonizing freefall into death, devoid of any hope. There's no reason, there's no plan. One must be wary of gazing too deeply into the horrors of the void. It won't matter how Adam managed to call down the power without the sword, because I'll have all the power in existence. Then what? Yeah. What do you mean, then what? Good question. I kill this version of He-Man too. And then? First he will kneel, then he will die. You stand on the threshold of commanding all the power in existence, and you're going to use it to kill He-Man. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you tackle at me, witch? Who do you think you are? Not He-Man. With a thought, you could butcher King Randor from here, and Prince Adam would come crawling to you, begging you to spare his mother's life. Well, aren't you an imaginative little gutter rat? Got her ass. Name of the episode. She's not really commanding nothing though, is she? She's just... He thinks you're his. But what do you think? Now I realize you're the closest thing I have to a friend in my wretched life. 
I was born in the Zalesian slums. And on my fifth birthday, my starving parents had no choice but to eat their only daughter. Wow. I hid in the gutters. Oh. Like a rat. I stayed for 20 years. Oh my gosh. Got a rat takes on a whole new meaning, doesn't it? I began to believe my life was worth less than sewerage. That's when he found me. Oh, so she met him post face off. But I owe him my life. He taught me to fight. He enhanced my magic. He gave me a place to belong. He thinks you belong to him. Be your own, my lady. Leave, or he will kill you one day. My man's talking some sense. No. I have to free us all. Wow. Are we seeing a bit of a redemption arc for Evelyn? The secret of He-Man, my secret, split up my parents. And I feel like it's definitely put a wedge between you and me. That's what we do. You thought sharing your secret put the people you loved in danger. And I can tell that you only hid your secret with the best intentions. Ooh. Tila, I, I should have said it a long time ago. I tried back in Preternia, but then I- I know. The sorceress is my mom. Yeah, I've always known. Or... ...has made me realize it. I mean, it's right in the name. They are mystic. Sorry for hiding it from you. All these years, you could have known her, and now it's too late. She could have told me herself. Who can fathom the human heart, let alone the heart of a sorceress? she about to do here fighting with you is always fun don't get me wrong but you've been back so long and we've yet to engage in our other favorite pastime you no know, I've always been attracted to power but now you're imbued with it and I want to feel it all mm -hmm. if a mere mortal sleeps with a god she could wake up in the afterlife no you must power down lest you kill me he ain't gonna do that. The power return! Oh, he is just a man. <laughs> so what do you like? Just kiss the bombs. seeing here careful he's not ah, stupid that's not the point i came to take Ooh. you simple predictable little man you are pathetic you will never kill he man be reasonable then no oh, it's far too late for that you showed me the shape of the universe and there was no reason it was just power unrestricted, chaos in a void, all my sacrifices to bring the magic back. I have to wonder, why bind myself to Greyskull when I can be my own champion? Oh no. By the power of Greyskull! I have the power. So how does that work if you're a sorceress? Deja vu. 
but it's not skeletal coming from them clouds. Good evening, all of Eternia. <laughs> Say what? Crawling in dirt, consumed by the certainty of your own importance. Look up! To give your lives meaning, you strive for an eternal reward in the great beyond, beside your heroes. But I've come to free you of the shackles of spirituality. Lynn controls the power, then she must have killed Skeletor. She just killed- Sorry, I just- I, I know there's only a couple minutes left of that, but she literally just blew up heaven. And was like, yo, there ain't no point to nothing. It's chaos everywhere. <laughs> Caring about your business. <laughs> like, what? She just killed everyone in heaven. If we want to live, we're going to have to fight. How? Evil Lynn is beyond our weapons now. Beyond. Then the only way we can stop this sorceress is with another sorceress. If I can tap into the power, I can stop her. I just need more time. And we're going to need all the help we can get. From anyone. Who's that? Don't just stand there, you royal boob. Invite me in. What? You're not telling me that Skeletor is going to join. They're going to join. They're, they're, there's just no way. Even even with all the stuff that Evelyn's currently doing, and clearly, I mean, you know, she wants to free everyone from Skeletor, but she's now decided she wants to free everyone from existence almost, it sounds like. So she's off the central reservation. But, you, you, like, Skeletor has waged war with these guys for aeons and killed Adam, tried to kill Adam twice. You're not going to tell me we're going to start working together with Skeletor. Like, that, no. No, I don't, I don't, I don't. I don't see that happening in... I don't see that happening. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. Invite me in. Like, I'm I literally were just fighting you. I guess the enemy of my enemy is my friend. But still, like... That's really repugnant. But then I didn't think that Evelyn would be so crazy either. So... I, I mean, I'm definitely brought in to find out how this ends. Um... And it's uh, definitely quite... I still can't believe that they... That her and Skeletor and get... Oh, I'm glad you, you got my point. It's like, ugh, his bony point. Like, <laughs> nobody wants to know about that. But I suppose the rest of him is all man, right? Like, but it's just his face that's, like, all bones. But, like, when they were, like, kissing and she's, like, kissing... <laughs> um, okay, well... We've got two more episodes to finish, so I'm not going to leave these until next week. Let's just get these done. So, okay, hopefully you were enjoying this as well. Um, I'm really, really glad I continued watching it because this has changed my opinion already. We'll see how the next episodes go because as I said, I'm not too sure about this whole new, oh, we're all in this together uh, situation. But, yeah, let's see. But, yeah, I will see you in a couple of moments for episode four. See you in a bit.